Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is array the insert node. So let's cover the insert node and see why we would use it. Our insert node is pretty simple. You can access it by right clicking, typing in insert, spelling it correctly, and you'll find it under utilities array. Now when you create it that way, you're going to get the wildcard version of it. It's going to have the array input and the input type as wildcard, and then it's going to have an area for the index, which is going to take an integer. Now looking over this, we basically have the execute input wire, execute output wire, then we have the array we're going to insert something into, what we're going to insert into it, and then where we're going to insert it at. Now let's see this in example, but first of all, we do have this alternate version, which is created when you drag off and you type in insert. Because these wildcard nodes are intelligent, if you drag off of what you are wanting to create it from, it's going to go ahead and give you a direct input for your input, so that way you can type it in rather than having to drag in just a regular node. If we hook this one up, for example, after we created it separately, we're not going to have the wildcard input. We're not going to have a direct input here. So let's go ahead and use this version here. So we have our int array. Our int array is pretty simple. It's got three entries and a value of one, five, and nine. Now let's say we wanted it to read one, three, five, and nine. Well, let's go ahead and put in three here. This is going to be the value we want to insert. And let's hook it up so we don't forget it. And then where are we going to insert this at? Well, we're going to insert it into spot one. We want this to take up spot one. Remember, zero is going to be your first index, which is here. And then one is here. We want it to be where one is currently. So let's put it at index one, not index 10. Let's hook this up to our print string. Let's set this up as debug. Let's go ahead and run this and check this out. So now that it's stopped, if we look at our array, we can look at our current values. Our current values are now one, three, five, and nine. If we go ahead and stop this and look at our array, it was one, five, and nine. So we've successfully used the insert to take our one, five, and nine, insert the value of three into spot one, which will then move anything after that down one. So one, index one will now become index two, index two will become index three, and it will repeat all the way down. And it will expand the array as needed to fill in at the end if you are adding into the middle, for example. Now you can insert at the end too, that is one thing to keep in mind, and you can insert at the beginning. So that is it, that's our insert node. It's useful if you need to keep things in a certain order. Maybe you are spawning new enemies and then you are tracking based on how far away they are from the player, and you want to, instead of reorganizing that array later, you're just gonna insert it at the correct spot. You determine the correct spot, you insert it into your array, and now it's already sorted. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.